Hey there guys, welcome back to Artifact Studios. This is just a really quick video how to import wavetables that you made into Serum and how to make it work. This is just a little trick. Now this is um, when you don't really know the pitch of a sample but you still want to convert it into a wavetable. How are you gonna do that? Well, it's really simple. I got, um, I got this little clip right here. I made that in massive so I made it in massive I used the um, a lot of the filters and I used a lot of the uh, feedback and I run that feedback through um, a sign shaper and it was really getting really harsh now I made this on a C0 that's the note that I used to create this but due to the amount of feedback that I have been feeding back into it and all the filtering that's been going on and the, a lot of the resonant peaks and stuff like that the fundamental frequency of this sound has changed and it's actually not a C anymore and I'm gonna explain that to you so when I go in here I would type in C0 because I made this at C0 and I can see that it's going to split this at 1348 samples so if I now drag this in I mean it looks alright but if I start scrolling through you can see it just doesn't match up I mean of course here it's really difficult to see but down here at the start I don't want to see that movement from left to right that's not what I want to see um, that means that this is not a C even though this, this was created on a C note that feedback I guess and the um, the filtering change the fundamental frequency of this note so it's not really a C anymore there's no pitch bending going on either it's just the FM that's creating those faster upper harmonics down here but um how are you gonna import this into Serum? well right now it's splitting it at 1348 samples and we can see when I move this from left to right that the waveform is shifting forward so that means that I need to increase the frame size now this little thing right here um, those amount of samples is basically when you import a sound into Serum it will depending on what note you put into here or a number it will split it at a fixed amount of samples so it will take the entire audio file and every fixed amount of samples it will split it and chop it up and that will become one table of the entire wavetable so it's now splitting it after every 1348 samples that's gonna be one wavetable but I can see that this is shifting forward so that's not really right so let's increase that number and see what happens if I'm gonna move up to 1400 and now I'm gonna drag this in you can see it's splitting it at 1400 it's now telling me it's a B minus 1 so we can see it changed a little bit but we're still shifting forward but you can know but you notice it that it shifts forward in a much slower speed than what we had before so we're getting closer to what it should be um, let's try 1500 so you can see it's it jumped a little bit again and it's still it's now actually starting to shift backwards so what that means is that we've gone too far and that we actually need to reduce the frame size so we now know it's somewhere in between 1400 and 1500 that's where the sweet spot is so knowing that let's try 1450 So it's still moving back and forth a, li a little bit but you can really see that it's moving back a little and then it's moving forward again so even though we're having this phase shift I mean there is some kind of a pitch movement going on in this even though there's no pitch bend in the sound 
it's just a fundamental frequency because of the filtering and the feedback has probably bend a little bit in terms of pitch it's just the overtones and stuff that happens I guess but I think I'm pretty happy with this I think this is pretty much what it should be that sounds right so now what I would do, and that's another thing that a lot of people don't really understand, um, the first thing I would do, and that's, it's to make sure that the morphing is gonna look right. Um, I remove removed the D DC offset, so that what that's gonna do, you saw that made that little jump. It's basically gonna look, gonna look at what is the center point, where should the center point be, and if there is any offset, it will take it out, it will take it out and align that. What I then do is I normalize each gain separately so that they all are pretty much at their loudest volume then I like to just bring up the grid size all the way and do fade edges grid size so that will just fade the edges down to the zero crossing point and then I simply do a spectral morph and we have a perfect wavetable. So that's how you do it. How, that's how you create a wavetable out of a sound, even though when you're not really sure what the actual pitch is. It's not that difficult. It's just a matter of looking. Is your waveform shifting forwards? Then you need to increase your fixed frame size. Is your waveform shifting backwards when you move from left to right? You gotta decrease your frame size. If you just remember that, you can find out what the frame size needs to be for every single sample that you import into Serum. That's it for this video. I hope to see you back soon. Peace.